What am I saying? I'm going to warm up the set a little bit for you lot. Do some spoken word. Please pay attention. When I'm meeting someone new, convos vary. But the welcome is always the same. It rarely changes, so just hear me. It goes something like, hello, hun. If a girl were, yo, done. If a male, but it seems like both of the sexes can't help ask you the same old question. What are you? Sorry, come again? Rex, what are you? What do you think I am? Stupid man. I'm a human being. I'm an alien to you, because my family got black and European. Or is it the fact that my skin is a light brown, I like to call it beige? Or is it just the way that I talk that's got your mind so confused? I'm a bit you tell your bloody foolish ways. Listen, don't piss me off, blood. I'm no different, because we're all different. And like most peeps in this room, I'm proud of where I'm from. Jamaican and Irish born in the south of London. And I don't define me. And more importantly, when you meet me for the first time, don't answer about my background within the first line. Because you're on a box being a stereotypical bind. Sorry, bridge, you're on a too advanced of the mind to fool for your ignorant kind. It's people like you, why well, racism is still on the rise. You ask why? Morgan Freeman said it best. Racism will come to an end when we stop talking about race. Question, why is it so important? We're all related. You can sit here debating all day long, but I won't change it. And who cares if a man's darker than Wesley or whiter than Elvis Presley? Because the character of a man that makes him a saint or something deadly. So ask yourself, if after hearing what I said, does it make you want to be more considerate instead? If it doesn't, then to be honest, my dude, the real question isn't what am I, it's what are you? Thank you. All right, this, this second of my last piece, a lot of people in here should know what it is. It's track three. Warm up the ting. Yeah, when you're ready, sir. Hello. My name's Ryan. Better known as Rag CV. I'm a resident of the South London. Just another ambitious young gun. Trying to get out of this invisible dungeon. Uh. But when I open my eyes, I realize my intelligence is irrelevant. They'll cast me out as a black sheep. Even if I had the most occlusive evidence that sparked a riot and destroyed the free world. If said was someone else. Yeah. You see, I'm just a normal guy. I'm no one important. No one cares about my thoughts and opinions of flaws and divisions of any wars and collisions, because who am I? I'm just a normal guy. Truth is, if you're not famous or post of a picture of your mama tits hanging out like a mama Trisha, no one would give a shit, why? Because you're just a normal girl. Or guy. I've noticed how the higher powers have higher power for the most evil, because they require power to stroke the ego and control the people through. Disconnection. Read for the lines. They disconnect by connecting us through channels that reflect our emotions of love and devotion or hugs and promotion for that job you love so much you hug and devoted to. <laughs> devoted your life. Now you're loading inside, no one to share your prize. But wait, I was wrong. You can log onto Facebook, shake your stickers to 5,000 friends and hope they look. Get 20 likes for 20 strangers, we wouldn't get 20 pounds to save your life, but it's in danger. I've got 20 reasons why I'm putting for this life. And it's all the time I see 2020 vision. I'm nothing special though. You know why? I told you. I'm just a normal guy. An engineer. But it's crazy how innovation, evolution, could turn into pollution of the mind. If you think about the times that we live in, you will not underestimate anything I'm saying, you know, I wouldn't waste the time that I'm blessed with. Because those who know, know that nothing in this world is given. If you look at it properly, it's amazing how far we've come in technology. Affording a property is almost, almost become a phology. While downloading pornography has turned out to be easy, like become a ritual monopoly. I'm speaking my mind and I'm telling you that one dickhead's gonna be stopping me. So take it in and try and understand. The economy is fucked. So are we, man. We're digital slaves. We're digital slaves.
with digital slaves in the digital age. Please tell me which one of you could leave your phone at home and not fill away with digital slaves in the digital age. Please tell me which one of you have had a Bebo on MySpace or some sort of page with digital slaves in the digital age. When's the last time you had a glass of wine when I make without checking any updates? Check it, check it. Bill, I can tell everyone in this room has been consumed by some sort of joke, opinion, conversation of you. Look, we've gone from meeting up to sending letters, house phones to mobiles, texting to emails, MSN to MySpace, Bebo to Facebook, Twitter to Instagram, BBM to WhatsApp. We're losing the human connection. We're losing ourselves in the digital age. In the digital age, we're digital slaves. My biggest fear, what's the next stage? Thank you.